Hi everybody, this is Felicia and welcome to The Crafty Maven. Here's the inspiration piece for this week and I'm going to go off the colors. So I'm starting with this beautiful black and white photo of my mom, my daughters, and my granddaughter and myself. And it is of the four generations. So I'm going to begin by fussy cutting these flowers out here. And then I'm going to start setting up here um, how I want this to look. I'm going to cut this strip off here at the bottom. And then I'm going to kind of cut that down a little bit because I'm going to add some paint here to this layout. So what I'm doing first is just measuring out everything, making sure I have it all straight and, and stuff like that. So I'm cutting that piece. Now this uh, layout is based off of a sketch from Sketches in Time. And you're going to see there's going to be a blog hop here on the Crafty Maven and um, not really a blog hop. I think it's more of a team up. But anyway, so um, so be on the lookout for that sketch. And right now I'm just going to, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I think I paused for some reason. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I was doing something. So I'm getting this photo you know, down at the bottom, uh, situated here. And then I'm going to be cutting another piece of paper here, but I'm going to use my punch. I'm going to get myself a design edge and I'm using my Martha Stewart punch from a long time ago. I've had that in my stash for a while. And I'm just going to be cutting this nice little loop-de-loop, -loop, uh, design here, I guess. I don't know if you would call that loop-de-loop -loop or fish scale or something like that, I guess, but I'm going to cut a strip of that off. And I love this paper. I like the dyed look of it. And now I'm going to get the flowers all situated. What I'm doing is I'm just trying to figure out how I want everything to go and how I want it to, you know, look on the layout. So that's why this process right here is taking a little longer. <laughs> and so now I am going to um, start gluing my photo down, which I end up putting it down cricket and I was a little bit disturbed behind that and so I tried to pull it off and anyway so now I'm just going to go ahead and paint here so I'm using my briar again and I'm using some of this nice nice paint here from the uh, shimmeris and it's called mm, let me see what's it called it's called gosh you know what is it it's called a a, a query tone acrylatone or something like that but it's just a white so um, I use that and now the paper has warped quite a bit and it has nothing to do with the paint it's just that paper is kind of weak um, a little bit there is thin and so um, I'm trying to get all the buckles out of it and everything and it didn't work so what I ended up having to do here is actually mounting this on another paper so there you have it there I mounted, you can see the little tiny little black edge around it, so I mounted it there. And that helped out a lot by putting it on a, a third piece or second piece of cardstock. So now I'm going to go ahead and get all my components glued together. Now I'm not going to glue that down just yet, but I am going to glue everything on top of this piece here. So I'm trying to make sure that everything is straight first before I glue it down all the way because I don't like tearing it up. I mean, sometimes I have to do it regardless, like now. <laughs> and I had the picture on, again, it's cricket. So that's two times the charm there. <laughs> I'm getting that picture down. So now I finally get it down straight, and I'm happy about that, because then the um, strip at the bottom does go straight once I get it go straight across. So that's how I realized that I have it straight. Okay, so I'm going to glue this strip down. Now, I'm, I'm gluing it down in the layers first because, like I said, I want to make sure everything is straight before I put it down. And I'm also going to glue this black strip down because I have black outline in the paper there, so I might as well put a little bit more black. Because there's there wasn't going to be any black originally on this layout, but I figured since I have it outlining the edge, I better put a little bit on the layout. So now I have that down, and I'm going to go ahead and switch it, situate the flowers. Now, I'm, most of that black strip is going to be covered up, but I'm going to remedy that by putting another black strip somewhere, and then it'll balance it off. So I finally decided to go ahead and commit and glue it down, and now I'm going to put my flowers down here, and I'm going to arrange these flowers in different kinds of layers here, and um, I'm going to tuck that one underneath there because I don't like that flat edge it has, So, and 
I'm going to end up cutting a little bit of it off, but there, I put it there. And now I'm going to raise one up so to give it some dimension here so they don't all be so flat at the bottom. And I'm using some of these seriously old squares. I'm surprised they even still stick. I am almost done with it. I think back in the day, these were Fiskars um, 3D squares, and they were, they sold like six, um, um, sheets of those different sizes, circles, large circles, large squares, uh, small circles and small squares. And they had an extra small square, an extra small circle. And it was only $4 for that pack. I mean, we got over like 400 and something adhesive, you know, form adhesive, um, dimensional thingies there. So I'm finally getting that done. So here the title is going to be for generations and, um, that is something that it has a it has a happy and kind of sad moment because I wanted my grandmother to be able to be in this photo, but she didn't make it to be in this photo, but at least we have the four. It would have been five, but she didn't make it. This was a little further back, so she had died a couple years previous to um, us taking this, this photo. So, um, yeah. So, but anyway... So there, there it is at the top. I put a little bit of black up there so that way it helps balance it out. I'm taking the um, sticky back off of these stars and now I'm getting uh, the sticky back off of all of these chipboard letters which are from the Hip Kit Club. These are exclusive to the Hip Kit Club and I love them because they have a little gold foil in there. It's it's really pretty. Um, you'll see some them at the close-ups here at the end but I really like that. So I'm trying to figure out make sure everybody has an even amount of space and so I glued down the S already and I glued down the G now I'm going to start and gluing down the rest of the letters here all right and then once I get them all done then um, I just put the four on there and then I'm pretty much done I, I know you look see the tassels down there at the bottom but I'm going to be putting those tassels on as well um, those are going to go probably pretty much at the very end and so I'm almost done with getting all these letters down uh, it looked like it didn't take me no time to get them down, but trust me, it took me some time to get them down. So, and it's all down. I'm going to put that flower up there, so to cover up that little blank corner. Um, there is a space for my journaling, which is going to go underneath that flower. And let's see, what else am I doing here? I am getting the tassels situated. I'm getting some of these zots so that I can glue those tassels down. And boy, do they it those zots hold those tassels down really well. <laughs> So yeah, I like that. I love how that looks. It gives it a nice little soft look, and um, I really like that. So I'm putting um, some more of some more um, embellishments down, and the embellishments I'm putting down are some gold um, enamel hearts there from Amy Tan's collection, Oh Happy Day. And now I'm going to be gluing down some little bits and pieces from the Basic Gray Urban Luxe collection. This is where some of these papers and those flowers came from. So I'm going to glue that one flower down because I won't have no reason not to. <laughs> and then I'm also going to put this banner down, but I'm going to cut some of it off because it was a little too long there. All right, so that's down, and that says Be Beautiful. And I'm putting some enamel dots down. Those are from Pebbles, white enamel dots. And I'm getting them all put down here on the layout. And then I'm going to sprinkle some of these sequences down. Now, this sequin mix came from the Urban Lux collection by Basic Gray. And those of you know that Basic Gray is no longer. So this is like, um, I have a lot of Basic Gray papers. But this is the one that I bought most recent, which was last year, the um, Urban Lux. So now I'm going to be putting down my lines for journaling here. And I love how I just kind of like did them all uneven. I like that look. It's, it's really cool. So pretty much journaling about the four generations and how I wish that my grandmother could have been in this photo. If she had lived today, she would, of course, that's impossible. But if she had lived today, she would be 104. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm all done. So make sure that you tune in to some more inspiration on the Crafty Maven channel. And we thank you guys for joining us today and have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.